Welcome back, Conius here. Today I'm doing a walkthrough of a Portal 2 map I created called Baited. So let's go ahead and get started. So as we enter, we find ourselves in a corridor with a whole bunch of really interesting things here. We've got a Franken cube in a cage on the left, and some goo, some cubes, a bunch of stuff going on. Can't really get access to any of that. Uh, the only way we can go is here. And so when we enter here, what do we see? Well, we just have this big empty room and a hole in the ground covered by a death field. There's a button down there. And there's only thing we can do is just push this button. There's no nothing you can do back inside here. So let's go ahead and push the button. Alright, so what just happened? That door closed, so all that stuff back there is now closed off to us. But the death field went away, and the only thing we can do now is just jump down here and stand on the button. So let's go ahead and do that. And okay, something happened. Oh, so now we're being brought up from the ground by a light tube. I dropped towards a death field, and then we've been picked up by another light tube. And we're getting dropped onto a jumper. Okay, and so I see a death field over here, and something on the other side. So let's go ahead and get on the jumper and see what happens. And now we're on the other side. And so we can't go through. We'll die if we go hit that field. So we're sup somehow supposed to get out of here. That's where we jumped through. There's really no way to get there from here. Now if we look down through this net pattern or this grating, um, we can see some things. And so I see what looks like white goo. I see a light tunnel. I see a square. And I happen to know that that's a laser receptacle. I see uh, a cube receptacle. And over here, I see a laser hitting a cube. So there's all these different things going on down here. And the question is, how do we get out? <coughs> all right, so the first thing is the white goo can be used to create portals in useful places. And so if I put the other end, uh, let's see, put the other end here, going to build up some goo and then I can put the other side into the light tunnel and then that's going to get goo coming up and then I can hit this somewhere and get it to splash back down and coat the ground and so I'm going to just start doing that so I'll just alternate have uh, one in the white goo area, accumulating white goo, put the other one in the light tunnel, and you have to kind of get out of its way, but uh, let it build up some goo, and then let that just drop down, and it's actually still splashing around, I could probably uh, move it around some more. Alright, and so obviously we can also um, get some coming out of the ceiling, so let's uh, go ahead and try that. So I've got some building up, I'm going to put the light tunnel in, let it carry it all the way up to the ceiling. Alright, so that'll let us put a portal up there if we want. Um, can we put one down there and up there? Yeah, there aren't enough portals to escape that way. Um, 
So if I tried, it would be getting the light tunnel to come up. But then I would need a portal up here, and if I put one, I'm not going to go through anything. I'm just going to fall back down, so I can't really get out that way. Um, but this square is a laser receptacle next to the light tunnel. And there's a laser over here hitting a cube. And so I happen to know that underneath the cube I can create a portal and I can get that cube moving and get it maybe out of the way. Um, I can you know, get it to go somewhere else outside of, away from the away from the laser. So then the idea is to capture the laser and try to hit that laser receptacle over here. So I need to get white goo on that side of the room. So what I need to do is I need to build up some more white goo and then try to paint over here close enough to the wall that I can get it up to the ceiling in conjunction with that uh, laser receptacle. So let's put this one over here. I'm just trying to, kind of, as much as possible, move the goo around. Um, maybe I'm close enough. Let's see. Maybe I can get some goo up there and get the laser coming down. Alright, so there's the goo. It's going to hit there. And what we want is we want a portal there. And then we want to capture that laser. If I can remember where that is. It should be right there. Alright, so we're close. I need to move it over and hit that laser receptacle. So let's try that. Alright, so you'll notice that suddenly it went away. Our wall guards all went away. Something changed when we hit that thing. What especially changed is that changed direction. It's now going the other way. So we can put a portal there, and we can put a portal here. Uh, no, let's see. How do we do this? That didn't work. You can escape this way. So what I need to do is put one of the portals up there, that's right. Okay, so one there, one here, and that will just carry us right out into this chamber. So now we're down. Okay, we need that cube to get out. I don't. Actually, oh, there's the cube. All right, let me get the cube down here. All right, well, there's the cube. Um, if I could jump in here and get it. All right, I've got the cube. Let me put that in the cube receptacle. All right, so what that does then is it opens up a doorway, and this is our way out. And it's very dark, but I can go down through here. And there is an elevator station. So we stand on the button to trigger it, stand on the platform, and it will bring us up a few levels. And here we are. And where we're at is we're actually inside the mechanism that handles all that beginning part with the capturing and the moving you around and stuff. And I can trigger it by standing on this button. That will trigger the whole process. And so all the timing is handled by all these sliders and laser interruptions and things. And they get triggered one after another. A series of logic gates on the ground to control everything. And then we're out. And that's it.